Hello everybody, welcome back to the Midlands Outdoors, exploring the black country, just on the River Stammer now. But what a beautiful sight that to see the train go across the Stamber Mill Viaduct, one of the freight trains going to some industry. I've never ever seen a train go across there, that is a really cool sight that was. So I've come at the right moment to capture that. But by the side of me is the River Stammer stretching all the way down, you see it goes round. It'll go around by the town centre, down by the canal, by the bonded warehouse, and keep on going. Just right away, you can just see the star on this corner. I mean, it does look uh, slightly a little bit polluted because there is some stuff in here. I know quite a lot of stuff does end up in the river star oils, things what shouldn't be in there. But it does look like, you see there, I don't know whether it is actually uh, polluted as much because you see streamer weed in there. That's actually a good sign. I know you get fish within the River Stower, further down the back end of the Starbridge Way. But if we just journey all the way down, it is a nice sight to see that actually the Stower from this corner. This old bridge here, just when you walk all the way across from the road. But here's the Stamba Mill Viaduct. We're right the way. We're going to walk up and get a bit close to show you. So I've got some stuff to tell you about it. Just imagine that Stamba Mill Viaduct is so old. We're just checking it out from here. This is a really amazing sight just to see the viaduct itself. Zooming right the way in. But I believe with this viaduct there actually used to be another one. And there is evidence of another viaduct actually being there because there is actually brick remains round on this corner. So just further down there is like a little bit of a farm whether you've anyone's ever been down here. Seeing the horses what I'm coming back and forth. To see some horses now. That there, believe it or not, map on for you now so you can see it side by side. Where the farm is, that actually used to be called Old Fire Clay Shafts. I think there was actually some collieries around the area. I know Lye had a lot of coal mines dotted all around next to the River Stour and further up. But if we come further up to see the Stamber Mill Vide up just underneath. But you see, check out all that is up. It's a really tall viaduct but just imagine when this one was even built but there is evidence of another viaduct actually being there I mean just right in front as well if we get further where the horse is on the corner but wow it's absolutely so cool check out that pretty much this is the closest I've ever got to the viaduct I haven't walked this close before to it but right the way underneath, I can just see there is pipes sticking right the way out there. So it is making me wonder, is there an original structure underneath this which has been bricked over? I really have no idea because what's uh, bugging me is seeing all this on the corner. What you can see there, what I'm pointing to, is very old support that was once another viaduct onto that corner. So it's making me, there's got a, definitely got to be another viaduct picture on for you now so you can just see the old original Stamba viaduct it's uh, absolutely crazy that is to see that with the structure and the design compared to this one but moving down on the corner here you see the, the viaduct where it goes up to the road on the corner I mean showing you the old remains here just onto there there is on the road if you've ever been on Starbridge Road passing on the bus or walking you can just see the old structure remains of where it would have gone in right away to the top up to there but you see coming further down the river Stower, what goes underneath the viaduct onto the corner here and stretches all the way down to there but it is really quite cool so you see on that corner there there's more support for it on that side so if anyone's never seen these there you go there is evidence of an old structure actually being there so I'm guessing this is not the original Stamba Mill Viaduct. The original one was where those supports was many, many years ago. So just a bit of information here for you. So the Stamba Mill Viaduct is situated in Starbridge, West Midlands, England. It was constructed in 1850 to carry the Oxford and Worcester and Wolverhampton Railway across the River Stour. And it carried passenger trains until 1964. It is still in use for goods trains, have you seen? Replay the video for you so you can see the train going across one more time. So you just see there, it says, uh, as the railway continues on the Roundock Steel Terminal at Brawley Hill, 
Trains have not travelled beyond that point since 1993. Freight trains can still be seen passing over the viaduct if you're lucky enough to capture it. At a, a reopening of the South Staffordshire line between Dudley and Warsaw is expected to be ready by 2023 with West Midlands Metro trams sharing the line with freight trains. A business plan for the reopening of the line was submitted for Network Rail in March 2011 and in January 2012 plans uh, surfaced during a passenger service between Starbridge Junction and Brawler Hill with stations being reopened along the route including Brawler Hill the service will be operated by rail cars built by Parry People Movers, who built the Class 139 units which run the established town centre service. So you see there, that is really quite cool to see there. Lots of information about the Stamba Mill Viaduct. But what I'm going to do now is show you a bit of drone footage going right the way over and some old photographs many, many years ago. Enjoy. <laughs> So it's absolutely really cool to see the cinematics from above. A few old photos. But there we go, Stamba Mill Viaduct. And if you've never been down to it, it's accessible when you get to number nine and let's get off the bus and walk right the way onto it. So the, the viaduct goes right the way up to there. So I'm guessing there is some owls in the States right the way at the back. What a beautiful sight. So right where we're heading is the River Stour Walk. I think it's, um, yeah, it journeys right the way down this way. I might have to go some different routes and it will go all the way to the gun barrel, but it might have to take some little house in the States to get through to the next sections. But right the way is really quite cool. So if we pan up to show you, we can actually see the old remains of the support. This is the first time I've got to show you this. Right the way here, here's the old supports for it. I'll just get right the way up. I mean, there is a path that leads right away to the back up to there. But here we go, here's the old support right the way here. So you can just see evidence once more of where the old viaduct actually used to run right above us. 
So right the way there. It's really quite cool to see that. You see the brick supports are at the top. I'm guessing, showing the photo one more time of the old viaduct, the big steel things would have been erected right away on top of this. So I'm guessing somewhere, see where it would have been erected. Here, the, the supports would have been based right away on top of here. You see one, two, and there's actually another one behind there. But how cool is that to see that? That is really awesome. There we go, there's one of the supports. You see the other viaduct is uh, peeking behind the trees. Let's get back on, let's get on the River Star Walk. So you see up there, I'm not going to try this up there, it's a big steep hill. We're free to get back on. Well, it's amazing how really tall up Stamber Mill Viaduct really is. You can see water dripping up there, right around the corner, dripping right away down. So I believe there is quite a lot of history on this walk. We've got Crowley Forge, there's actually quite a few others that I want to talk to you about. So you imagine many, many years ago, Collar is actually operating in the area. I mean, how you had all the shafts over on that corner over there where the buildings are. You see, lots, once more, lots of history on the walk. So every walk you go on, there's always a bit of something within the black country. But what a lovely view that is. So land still being used as like a little bit of a farm. You can just see the horses right around the corner. Then paddling all the way back round. You can get a better view here of the supports just right around the corner. And then the Stamber Mill Viaduct. So here we go, it's this crossover here. But you see the walk will all just go in various places. So I'm going to keep on walking this way. Whether this will bring us up to a main road. I did do a bit of Google mapping earlier to see where this walk exactly goes. So I'm going to try walking in various spots to get from one side to the other. And you see, I'm going to take a few photos in a second. But that is actually a really beautiful site, the Stamber Mill Viaduct. What a sight of that. So right, here we go. It's actually brought us to some more styles to cross over. So it's leading us up straight up this way. But the River Starrow is down on the dip on that corner. Let's cross over this one. I'm thinking this is going to take us to a road. I bet it's going to take us to a road, this one. Let's just keep going up. It's really lovely, I mean, you can see all the wildlife. Absolutely so much over here. It's absolutely so relaxing. And I believe at a certain section, the where the Crowdy Forge is, I was reading some information online, which is really quite interesting. And it's believed that's where the Industrial Revolution possibly began. Crowley Forge, I will tell you more about it when I get there. I mean, it used to be more over in that area, chain and anchor works. There's so much more. Imagine back in them days, it would have been fascinating to see what the black country really did look like. What a beautiful place. So, right, I've just seen a lady cross up that way, so I think that goes to the housing estate. We're going to carry on down here, so there is a, a path leading straight. So hopefully this will snake us round the River Stower section and go somewhere. Well, I think it's actually coming to a wooden part now. Oh, there it is. There's the River Stower all the way down. You see, I'm thinking this, this place here where it's all built up on has got to be really old. I mean, you just see the bother style of the brick right the way underneath. Look at the style of the brick under here. Wow. You see there, I don't know what type of stone that is, whether it's um, sandstone. I mean, it's got the same style to it. I think it's actually sandstone because I see it like graining away. And I'm guessing that's really old, that stone. But just the view down there, check how lovely that is. You've got the woodland, river stower going all the way down, big open woods. And then journeying down, it just carries straight on. That's an old tree there, look how the tree's grown with all the roots on the side. It's actually slanted that tree, it's actually growing that way. That's crazy, I mean imagine how that's not even fallen down. 
I mean, if that gets a bit more higher, we will get a really bad wind. That'll probably take the bank with it and end up down there. That's crazy how it's going on that slant. That's an old tree. Okay, let's just keep on walking on and uh, we'll see how far we can get onto this walk. And then when we get to the air is what I want to show you, which is quite interesting. I've got more to tell you about, so let's keep journeying on. Right, this is really lovely. I didn't expect this to even snake around like this and carry on straight into the woodland. I mean, panning right the way around, you can just see sort of an hour's in the state developing now, just alongside the river Stabber coming all the way down. So, if we just get past all this mud, I did look at something really quite interesting on the old maps from the side to side maps. If I just get it up in a minute for you, I've just noticed further up somewhere. There is actually, um, I think there, Bagley's Mill, uh, corn, disused, and that was actually somewhere between 1841 and 1952 on these maps. And it's really interesting. I mean, further up, if I just go to the other side, it says there, screenshot there for you, Stamber Mill, River Stower Works. It was actually brick and uh, retort, apparently there. More fireclay shafts just right around the corner. Wow, that is so cool, that is. So there you go, even more work. So you see, quite a lot of old industry sprung up across the River Stower in the old days. You see, it was prosperous. But it's hard to pan round. I mean, you just see the River Stower here. What's interesting, you can just see all this old wall right the way there. There is some certain old walls and several sections of the Stower. I mean, you just see there, look at that pipe on the corner, how old that is, going all the way across. Well... What a lovely sight though. Let's carry straight on. We've even got more to check out. So I think where that Bagley's Mill is, is just round this corner and further straight on. He did sign there, there was a road going across. So I think this will eventually lead us where the Aldi is. And you cross right, right the way over by the Aldi somewhere. Don't know where about it is. And then just straight on, it will take you all the way down to where Crowley Forge is. If I am right, because I haven't done this route before. I mean, but you can just see interesting stuff. I mean, like this. Look at that style of that. I mean, the windows have been bricked up. So is that an old building? Just right by the side of the River Stower. Some really old stuff there on that corner. Check out that. Mm, that's quite interesting, that. But right the way down still see i mean this that really does look polluted because of the color of the water we I mean, just seen the uh, big barrels or something down the corner what's been thrown in it's a real shame to see that because you imagine if the the river quality was really clean you'd have much life in there probably fish maybe in there if it was much more cleaner oh wow check out this check out all that here so it's come out like a little bit of a swamp or a very old pool. That's really quite cool. Great place for wildlife, all this is, for to inhabit in different areas. Well, check out that. So where we're going is right the way over there somewhere. But that has really fascinated me, that, on the corner there. Maybe was that something old years ago, converted into something new? You can see they've added even new buildings right around the corner. Well, that's quite interesting that so what's that an old pool or is that just where some uh, stream comes right away into it but it's guessing it could have been an old pool years ago or something you can just see old things there well so right carry straight on you can just see the road cup so this is actually where the back of this mill would have been situated many many years ago it's somewhere at the back over here now I can just see a road appearing, see like street lights poking right the way out the back. 
but nice wide open land. There we go, if we just journey over we'll see now where this even takes us to. And see, I'll just notice something else here. I mean, there's a bit of a flat concrete base here. To, so what was here years ago then? Could have been something else here as well. I mean, what's this? That's quite cool. Is that just something to do with drainage maybe? Who knows? So I mean, you do really find quite a lot of old stuff on your walks. You've just got to pay your attention to the details and surroundings. I mean, I've been on walks that I've done for years and I've always never noticed this certain stuff, like the river star up by me, by the gun barrel. I noticed the old uh, big walls where the tramway used to come across for the horn colliery, shown you later in the video. I mean, I never noticed them to a took detail. But really interesting, I do love learning much of the old history of the black country, where things was, to what it is like now. It's really interesting to learn. So if we just carry straight on this road, we'll see where we can cross over. I don't know where it's going to lead us to now. And you, can, you can just see the main road onto the corner. And I think what I might do is get over this way actually. So right, checking out Google Maps, back of this mill used to be right away the back on that corner somewhere. So where we're heading is straight the way up, hopefully it will take us back on the river Stour, but we might have to go down the road a little bit to we carry straight up this way. Well, I mean, you can just see they've actually marked the river Stour walk with these blocks right the way here. So you see all these blocks, what they've marked it off as. Just right there as well. So right, to serve the road, there is a, a public footpath sign right the way over there. Let's cross over and see where it goes. But you can just see, the, it comes back over to the River Stara. So we're coming over a, another little bit of a bridge now. Right the way here. So it comes down into like a little bit of a weir. And we'll check out this, what's this thing here? That is really quite cool. Is that some sort of old system? What used to cut to stop the water from flowing or to maintain it? I'm guessing that is so old, that is. Check out that. So if you know much about this, then drop it in the comments. But I'm guessing it's some sort of old weir system. It's so cool, that is. Because checking right the way down, I think these things used to turn. There's like wheels there, so what it would have lifted up, it might have lifted something. You can just see where things would have slotted right the way in. That's cool, that is. But over the other side, you can just see the way the water's start trickling all the way out. There's something right the way down in the corner. What I'm pointing to right here. It's like a big round disc. Wow. So I mean, it was worth actually coming down here to see that. So I'm not sure if you can get a better view of it. I'm really not too sure. Don't think you will, but you can just see even down here, there's a tunnel. Check out that tunnel down there. Right the way to the bottom, there's a tunnel what leads underneath. Right, if I just show you this carefully. So we had a chance to show you this from this corner. So if we just get over here a bit carefully, watch around treading. You can just see that tunnel leading right to the other side now. That is really quite cool. So if you know what some of this stuff even was, then drop it into the comments. If I just carefully come over this way, I have no idea where the, the bank even goes down, but check out that. That is a brilliant uh, sight from the corner now, that thing, what I was on about. And then right the way there, you can just see the other one on that corner going right the way underneath. It's so interesting, that is. So feel free to drop it in the comments what you think all this could have been many, many years ago. Could have been white, is it some sort of old weir system? Let me know.